Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be reacting to four true scary stories um, with footage by Mr. Nightmare. Um, so let's just get straight into it. I'm going to turn my light off as well. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into it. And I got rid of the, the noise suppression on my microphone because, you know, I, I watched my videos back and there was also comments. People saying they couldn't even hear me barely and speak up and I told them that it was because of the fucking noise suppression and the noise gate but let's get straight into it um leave a like comment and subscribe you guys enjoy this also mr nightmare's voice is amazing bro it sounds like i live in Jeddah, saudi arabia it was a tuesday night i was laying on my bed trying to get some sleep i laid there for about three hours until i decided to get up and take a walk around my neighborhood just to clear my head it was two in the morning I was walking down the street when I remembered there is an abandoned building in our neighborhood. I decided to visit it. People say that this building is haunted and I've always wanted to see what's inside of it. The building itself looked really creepy. Broken windows, a huge metal door which said no entry with red paint. As an 18 year old college student, I wanted to be adventurous. I climbed through one of the broken windows and got inside the building. I took out my phone and started to record so I could show off in front of my friends. Just to let you guys know, my phone works completely fine. There's no problem with it. The place was really dark. The only source of light in that building was from my phone. It took me a couple of seconds to realize I was inside a small room. I walked out the door into the hallway. It was an apartment. I was doing commentary while recording to make it look cool. I got out of the apartment and into the main hall of the building. Here's a picture of the main hall. On the left side of the elevator, there's a small passageway which leads to a really small room under the stairs, as seen in this picture. I went there to investigate. When I got close to the room, I heard a clicking noise from the first door. I was frozen for a split second. I walked back to the main hall still recording. Then I heard a loud sound of metal dropping on concrete. I almost crapped my pants. I wanted to get the hell out of there, but something inside me told me to go upstairs and find out what it was. I started walking up the stairs as slowly as I could. I don't even know what I was expecting to see up there. I got to the first floor. As usual, it was dark, but it got colder. This event took place in the middle of August, so it was hot outside. Yeah, bro, I'm gonna say one thing. If you guys haven't watched my video where we went to the abandoned mental hospital, I, I told my friends when it gets cold, just like, spirit around, bro, like, that's some ghost shit. When it gets cold, you get a cold breeze. I'm into paranormal yeah, stuff, and when I suddenly felt cold, I firmly believed something was going on here. Yep. I should have turned back, but I still wanted to see where that sound came from. There were four apartments on each floor. I investigated all four of them and saw nothing. A chill ran down my spine when I realized the whole second floor and the ground floor were covered in sand. There was no concrete and no sign of anything metal. The cold temperature on the floor and the fact that I was alone gave me the chills. I hurried down the stairs, made my way back to the apartment, climbed out through the window and ran back to my home. When I got home, I drank gallons of water, calmed myself down and took out my phone. He's gonna see something. I wanted to hear that sound again, so I played the video. And to my horror, the audio on the video was messed up. My commentary wasn't there at all. Like I said earlier, there's no problem with my phone. It works fine. I didn't get any sleep that night. I told my friends about it and they told me that it was really stupid to go inside that building alone. I didn't delete the video, I decided to keep it as a memory. Fast forward to December. I was going through my gallery and I came across that video. I decided to play it. I fast forwarded to the part where I heard the sound. And surprisingly that sound is clearly heard in the video. I don't know how it could be heard clearly, but Probably here's a small clip from the video. I got goosebumps and closed my phone. I promised myself not to go near that building ever again. Yeah, that was fucking... If you guys are gonna explore and shit, I would always do it with friends, bro. That's fucked. Let me start out by saying I was a non-believer of the paranormal until this night. I was with four buddies. I won't list any names for safety reasons. At least he's with friends. We went know? to hang out and talk in an old, supposedly haunted trailer late at night. 
The owner and multiple people who lived there all told me that it was haunted by demons, and me being the new guy to the group, I needed to be initiated. This initiation consisted of walking into the haunted back room. I did as they said after they convinced me, and walked in and then quickly ran out. My friends thought it was hilarious and went to prove to me that it was all not real. I went behind them to record them and see if we could get any proof of the demon. My friend went to open the closet, and that's when I got spooked by a loud audible crash in the closet and ran away. My friend thought it was hilarious, and after more convincing, dragged me back inside the house to record him. My buddy and I got outside of the trailer to rewatch our footage, and what we caught scared me beyond belief. Dude, I just heard shit in the closet. Yeah, yo, yo, bro. What the fuck? Oh shit! <laughs> oh fuck me, fuck. Um. Look at this fucking video! Chase, 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 look at this! Dude, I saw it. Me? Get the hell out of there, dude! The closet opening and closing, loud knocking and windows being tapped on, all the while I captured orbs outside of the room. While I was outside waiting for my friends to come back out, I heard the trash cans rattle and immediately called my friends out. We didn't see them move, but a little later on we had things thrown at us from an unknown place. I had a live bullet tossed into my leg, and one more land inches away from my buddy's leg. I have it on video. <laughs> you were making that shit. Wait, if you're there, then who's throwing shit? Huh? I just came back from smoking with Roy. Yeah. Oh, they just passed by, I took a hit, and they kept walking. We have actual fucking proof of that ghost. Eventually, we went to get out oh, after no, I, I practically dragged my friend into the car, only to have our car alarm go off as we opened the car door. When we got home, my buddy showered and said his back hurt, and when I checked, Let me get some scratches, I saw he had sir. multiple scratches up yep. and down his back, as you can see in this image. this one it was a normal evening my best friend and I decided to go for a walk I wouldn't even walk in this it was around 10 o'clock in the evening so it was as dark out as it was gonna get <laughs> I live in a like small village so we usually just walk around the streets there weren't many people out at this hour we were kind of just walking and talking a little while into our walk we started to head home we went up some hill, which led to the little town area and the only store we had in our village. But as soon as we came up the hill, we saw a weird looking figure in the distance. It looked like an abnormally tall woman covered in a sheet of some sort, and it had its neck tied with a string or a rope. This is the video we took of the figure. I think I've seen this one. I've seen this, I've seen this. It's like some weird thing. Honestly, it reminded us of the movie The Nun. It was really hard to see since it was totally dark and the street lights weren't exactly the brightest. It was I'm not gonna lie, I got goosebumps. I don't know why, but um, I've seen this before. Um, that's, that's fucking creepy. Like, But then again, it could just be like someone drunk. He said it's like late at night, right? It could just be someone drunk, a lady drunk, or just on drugs and shit. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of this. It was moving very slowly. It was waddling left and right, drunk or injured or something. We couldn't figure out if it was walking our way or not because it was moving so slowly. It was a really disturbing sight at that moment, at that hour of the night. After half a minute of standing there, we realized it was walking towards us. We ran as fast as we could when we realized it didn't even have a visible face or just anything to take note of specifically. That's fucked up. We no. walked around to go home, hoping we wouldn't see her again, but we thought we would, because if we calculated it right, we would meet again on one intersecting street, but luckily we didn't. The next day, I told my friend about what happened, 
and she told me she also saw her or it while she was driving with her sister past the bar, which is on the street. To be honest, it was probably just some, some some fucking person she else slow on drugs. Us. I really don't know how we missed her, but luckily we did. Or drunk, I don't know. My friend described the figure just as horrifically as it appeared from the distance to us that night, and since that night, we never saw her again. Last story. This just happened a couple days ago. This isn't something that happened to me, but rather something that happened to a family friend. Our family friend, who I'll call Buddy for the sake of this video, believes that something has attached itself to him. Something paranormal. It started when he moved into a new house. Almost right away, Buddy and his family started experiencing paranormal activity, such as shadows and voices. One night, Buddy had found a weird discovery in the basement of his new home. Oh, he's calling his friend Upon Buddy. doing some moving in the basement, uh, he found something that he had not seen prior to the move-in. He found a stolen cemetery reef. This made partial sense because the town cemetery was in walking distance of the house. Buddy was aggravated with the activity going on in his new home. So out of anger, he snapped the cemetery reef. And in his own words, when I snapped the reef, every dog in that town started howling. There must have been 20 dogs all howling Cemetery at the same time. Reef. I was scared to death. After that, the activity worsened, and they had so. no choice but to move. But it seemed the activity followed them to every house they went to. Recently, they've had some of the worst experiences in this apartment they currently live in. Buddy and his wife, who I'll call Pam, have been repeatedly followed by some kind of entity. They decided to set up a phone recording for the night and try to capture anything that might seem paranormal as evidence that they weren't crazy. What Buddy found on the phone was horrifying. He woke up at 3 to review some footage and found a 5 second video that had been taken after the previous recording had stopped. Keep in mind they have no pets, no children that live with them, no TV or radio was on at the time, and both Buddy and Pam were in bed when this happened. You can clearly see something pick up the phone and a female voice speak into it. I can assure you that is not Pam's voice or any other voice that they're familiar with. Fuck, bro. Everyone thinks it says, Did you tell daddy to rape me? But you guys take a listen for yourself and come to your own this, conclusion. Bro. Come on. You tell daddy to rape me? Almost a night after this recording, one of Buddy and Pam's daughters died from an overdose. She was 30 years old and seven months pregnant and a mother of four, getting what ready the to fuck, be five. Bro. Could this video have something to do with it? We don't know. But if it is a coincidence, then it sure is one hell of a scary one. Fuck. Alright, well, let me turn my light on. Fuck this, bro. Um, turn my light on. Um, take my glasses off. Um, <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't know. Uh, I just want to say... Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I reckon the next one we'll react to is probably this one right here, the computer virus stories. Because if you get hacked, and you get a virus, like it's fucking creepy. I've seen like dark web stories and shit, but um, I don't know. I don't know. Just expect another one with my friend do a reaction. But um, if you guys enjoyed this, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. And comment what which one of these was the scariest one for you. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.